This is an add-on video to Course 1, my uh, first layout tutorial, and I'm using Photoshop CS4, and this is probably one of the most uh, frustrating things you're going to find when you're doing my Photoshop Elements tutorials and trying to do them in Photoshop, uh, the full version. Um, this is the default, how it looks, except for I have this little document here. And it comes up uh, with the default um, tool as I think it is the marquee tool. And um, in the tutorial, I'm going to show you to utilize uh, the move tool and um, to move things around on your page. This works fine. If you're um, if you click down and you just want to move uh, something around on your page, but if you notice um, when you get to the part in the tutorial where you uh, need to resize something, uh, there's nothing to click on. So um, yes, that can be very frustrating, but it's a very easy fix. Um, these actually have the same settings in Photoshop Elements, but they come as the default settings in Photoshop Elements, and you just need to change them to the default settings in the full version of Photoshop. Up here um, on the toolbar is Show Transform Controls. When you click that, now you're going to be able to see those little boxes on the bounding box so that you can uh, resize those layouts. You will note when you resize in CS4, you do need to hold down that shift key to resize proportionately. Now, if you have more than one thing on your page, the default in Photoshop Elements um, allows you to click on the other element and it will be selected in the layers palette. As you see here, when I'm clicking between these two circles, it's staying in the same um, active layer. It's not going from one to the other. That is an easy fix too. If you just click this checkbox here called Auto Select, now when you just click out here on your desktop, it will um, also uh, select that layer and make it the active layer in the layers palette. So those are the two things that are probably most likely to drive you batty when you're trying to do my first layout tutorial in Photoshop. And so just make sure you change those two defaults. Another thing you might want to look at is to go into, I think it's the edit, yes, the edit, and down here at the bottom it says preferences, and then I could just click on general, or you can hit control J on your keyboard. Um, another thing that I would suggest checking, especially if you don't have uh, a full uh, keyboard and you're just working off of a laptop keyboard, um, because the scroll is harder to work on a laptop, is um, to check these two, sc zoom with scroll wheel and zoom resizes window. That way, um, when you are using your mouse, you can use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. And um, you can go through here and look th at all of these other um, settings to see if there is something uh, that might help you, but that would be the first one that I would suggest um, that you change. And so now I'm zooming in and out, and it's zooming with the page um, when I'm using my scroll wheel. And so just uh, make those few settings before you get into the tutorial and uh, life will be a little bit easier for you while you're learning to use Photoshop.